Hello YouTube, this is Bash bringing you here for week one of BPL. Uh, King Division Season 11, we are up against Flap and the Bedtime Bidoofs. Now we're going to go into the matchup real quick. It should be showing up on this side of the screen here. We got the, our team of course consists of Palfin, Terra Iron Boulder, Annihilate, Terra Shaman, Screamtail, Alone Muck, Dawnfan, Mega Amphros, Fortress, Golbat, and Glaceon. While their team consists of Torn T, Terra Victini, Melmetal, Crocodile, Alamola, Mega Sceptile, Terra Monkey Dory, Militank, Aromatis, and Masquerine. So, going into this matchup already, uh, very scary some aspects of it. Um, specifically, the Terra Victini is probably the thing I'm scared of the most going into this matchup because um, there's a couple different options to can run, but the one that I think I'm most scared of at the moment is Terra Fire banded v create victini um because everything most unless you have a flash fire pokemon or like a quad resist i think you're getting two shot like most most mons are most likely like it's crazy how hard that hits um so very scared of that um the other thing i need to pay attention for uh for what like but i brought at least um is some kind of weird mega septile set that I'm a little, I could be a little bit scared of. But yeah, the, the Victini is the biggest thing I'm scared of at the moment in this matchup. So uh, we're going to have to figure out a way to play around it. And then the last thing is, um, of course, they could bring webs. I don't think they do, to be honest. But if they do, well, uh-oh. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. So yeah, let's go into the team I'm bringing this week. This shows up on this side of the screen here. Um, unfortunately, Iron Border still doesn't have a Sprite or one that works on Showdown. But yeah, uh, for lead off the team here, we got Terra Iron Boulder, Booster Energy, Terra Water, Mighty Cleave, Close Combat Source, and Substitute. The idea is I could sub up on the Aloe if I Terra Water and be able to SD and uh, get some free SDs off. The only thing that's really stopping that is if he's a Luring Voice Alamola, which he could possibly be. Um, but if that's the case, uh, it is what it is. Um, not much I could really, uh, not, not much of what I'm going to really do about that, but. Um, this thing is, is pretty good otherwise too. Um, it actually, uh, Terra Water is actually like really good into this matchup, specifically for defensively allowing me to set up. Uh, it allows me to help against Victini. Well, obviously I'm already rocked it, but Victini, uh, Melmetal is another thing, playing 50-50 mind games with that. Um, I believe, what else was there? Um, yeah, those are like the main ones. Uh, Crook as well, which is really nice as well. Um, but yeah, this thing could go, this thing could go really, can clean up the game. Um, it's going to be like a late game, uh, cleaner unless, um, something happens where Torn T gets out of control. I don't think it should get out of control too much this game. Um, but it, there is still a chance, especially if they bring the Terrifier Banded Victini to break through my defensive walls. So that I'm bringing this week. But yeah, that's Siren Boulder. Then we got Annihilate here. Um, really weird set. Um, you turn Drain Punch, Rage Fist, and Stealth Rock. Um, max HP, like almost 240 HP, max defense, uh, uh, bold, 8 speed investment. So the 8 speed investment is actually really important um, in terms of like, I wish I could add another one, but like, I'm already like, it's already a roll for Terrifier Choice Band Victini on my Annihilate right now. Um, like, I don't think I can even take anything out of it. So, uh, in be able to take the hit any better um and still take the hit the same i don't think i could do that at least i'm gonna check real quick i don't believe um yeah uh yeah it goes from a 75 percent chance to elko to 81.3 percent chance if i take any defense out or um any hp out so like um i don't really think it's worth it um, and that's only if Terrifier banded Victini, but the something I will know is if I do actually live that hit, I actually speed tie, um, that Victini if it's max speed, um, the next turn, so, and that's if he's max speed, which is really nice, um, but the main idea is I just wanted, like, that sort of, like, utility, like, uh, like pivoting Pokemon this week. I didn't think Annihilate had a really like amazing ma matchup offensively, especially with like Aromatisse Alamola there. Um, but then offensive threats of like Tornadus there um, and Monkey Dory. I didn't think it was going to be like a great matchup for it. 
So I decided to get like be, make it be the kind of the rocker with U-turn, Drain Pit, Punch, Rage Fist, um, just to get like momentum in. Uh, specifically, I expect like Aloe to come in pretty free, uh, pretty like nicely on this, which is gonna be perfectly fine with me because if I U-turn out on the Aloe coming in, I can get into some really good momentum uh, scenarios. But um, yeah, this is help, here to help with Victini a little bit, um, Mel Metal as well. Um, I'm able to take uh, Choice Bennett, um Double Iron Bash from Mel Metal, which is really nice as well. And what's really also really interesting about that is that Double Iron Bash actually boosts my Rage Fist up to 150 base power uh, right off the bat. So um, that's something I want to be able to take advantage of this game. But yeah. Next we got uh, Shaman, uh, the Porpoise, the Shaman, uh, Rocky Helmet, Synthesis, Seed Flare, Earth Power, Baton Pass, Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet is nice for the Mount Metal. Um, it's nice for Victini if I decide to tear this instead, depending on how the match is going. And um, yeah. Um, it's really uh, I decided to put Rocky Helmet because if Crook comes, I'm gonna get knocked off anyway by it. So like, I thought you know what, might as well get take some advantage of it. But it's also really nice for the Mount Metal. But the big thing is, um, this speed is actually really weird. So, um, remember how uh, Nyla was two base two, uh, reached two eighteen speed? This reached two nineteen speed. So I put fourteen IVs in. So if, after a V create from Choice Bandit, I actually lit, uh, outspeed um, Victini one hundred percent of the time, unless it's Scarf. Um, so that's really something to note, but I'm also under speeding Crooked out uh, min speed, like not minus speed nature or like I like no like some IV is taken out of it, but min speed, no speed investment Crook, and because of the reason I want to do this, because I want to put Tom Pass out, because if even if they um, because I'm expecting what's gonna happen is that like um, Tornadus or uh, or uh, um, Tornadus or. Uh, Mega Sceptile could come on this, but specifically, I really think if Miltake comes, it's going to come in on this. Because if it's Sap Stripper, it doesn't have to worry about the um, special defense drops with um, Seed Flare and the Leech Seed shenanigans. So I feel like a, a Slow Baton Pass would be really nice this game. Um, specifically, if they go into like what, like Miltank or Torrenty or Mega Sceptile, I have like pr ways to pressure that at least, is kind of the idea. Which is also like. This is really good for Melting too, so yeah, um, that's something to keep in mind. Next, we got Daddy Crypto here. <laughs> you already know, um, Mega Ampharos. So obviously, it's got to be Crypto for Me Mega Ampharos. But Volt Switch, Dragon Pulse, Discharge, Heal Bell. I just go with Heal Bell this week because I have a feeling that in <clears throat> there's going to be like toxic Thunder Wave shenanigans from like Mel Metal or like Meltank, um, or specifically Alamola was a big one, so I would kind of really like that, especially with, um, in case they do bring Monkey Dory with, uh, Toxic Chain, I really like that as well. This is really fizz death, because once I Mega, I'm actually able to answer the Victini, but I don't know how fa how early I'm going to be able to get that Mega off, which is why you turn on Annihilate is really clutch, because it uh, brings Aloe in, and I could get Mega Ampharos Mega evolved against it, which is really nice as well. Dragon Pulse, actually, with this investment, two shots, max HP. Crooked Eye with leftovers, I believe. So um, that was some, that was kind of what the one I wanted for this. And it's also pretty nice with Meta Metal for Meta Metal answer. But what's really good for it is uh, switching to Torn, which is why I don't think it will be a Nasty Plot Torn set this week. Um, I think a Utility set makes a lot of sense with, like, U-Turn, Knockoff, like, Taunt kind of situation. Uh, specifically for the next mod that I'll, I'll get into, but... Yeah, this is uh, I feel like is a really good set. Heal Bell is really nice for burns, toxic, thunder wave, any of those shenanigans. But um, this thing's actually able to take the hits pretty well. It actually I believe it takes a hit from Jolly if I need to, Jolly Crook, uh, if I need to from Earthquake. So something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, uh, discharge is really nice to try to get some paras because that makes things uh, better for me in the end game. So yeah, something to keep in mind. Next we got uh, Screamtail. Uh, Wish Protect, Disable, Ice Beam. A uh, really weird set, really interesting set. Um, with the Rocky Helmet. So, I was coming up with, I couldn't figure out the Scream Tail set for a while. And then Sketch ended up helping me with like the Disable part of it. And then Rise C actually ended up helping me with the Rocky Helmet. Um, basically, the idea is that I'm going to be Wish Passing really a lot to Annihilate and uh, Mega Ampharos, which is really nice, I think, for the team. Especially since Mel Metal is the one that's coming in on it. But if there's another play to this. If I think this is banded Mel Metal, right? Or like even like um even like a non-offensive one, I guess or like a non-status one. Um 
are well first off wish into annihilate gets up the boost right and i get the health, health back which is really nice but something that's really cool is protect with disable in case he is choice banded um no metal so i can disable the double iron bash and i'm in a really good position ice beam i decided to go for the coverage because i wanted to hit torrent heat but the big one is mega septile that is this is my answer to mega septile 100 percent of the time i needed a really good way to deal with it because of the last month because i either really wanted it gone or weakened um a little bit so that's something to keep in mind but yeah disable is also nice for other things too um uh in case they are like for victini like right um which i actually live a toy uh choice scarf adamant terrifier after rocks with screamtail from victini so i could disable that too which is really nice um something just something to keep in mind at least but i feel like really good about the um the screamtail set the biggest worry of course is like not metal or i guess victini coming in on it but what's really nice at least for um victini is i could like wish into like mega ampharos on it or something like that if i'm mega evolved on victini if i'm really scared i can protect on it um but yeah I'm, I'm still able to answer like a lot of the special threats uh torrentine mega septile the one i'm a little bit worried about is monkey dory but i don't think monkey dory comes to this matchup because i have a little muck in the back and it's just really bad for it to be honest um fortresses as well there too which is like really annoying for it but little muck could just pursue trap and even with the terror at first of all i think Vitini is a better terror in this game anyway but monkey dory um i feel like probably wants to be terror ground if it's coming this game and like terror ground's terrible against like palafin right so that's something to uh keep in mind at least but yeah um that's the screen tail set and the last set here is palafin here now we're uh pretty generic a somewhat generic set we're actually max hp so sizing toss never breaks this up from metal tank we can actually set up on it um i actually put four into his speed just in case he's like i didn't want to deal with speed ties with metal tank to be honest um, which is partly why I put the four in speed because I, I want to be able to have like if I know he's gonna outspeed me I'd rather just know that and stick with that and play around it that way or if I outspeed it I want to be able to play it that around it that way too I don't want to be one to deal with speed ties every other turn because that could end up palafin losing the game if I get the wrong speed ties so like palafin losing to Tank or stuff like that but Jet Punch, Dream Punch, Bulk up Substitute, really good. Subbing up on um, Alamola is really nice. Um, depending on like the Metal Metal, like, I could set up on that as well. Um, and Victini as well, which is really nice as well. So the big scary mon for this is the Mega Sceptile. But um, at plus two, I, I Dream Punch as a roll to kill. Um, so after rocks it will so that's something to keep in mind which is kind of why I decided to put rocks on the last slot of the Annihilate but uh, I think I get some sub bulk ups off on this team um, again the biggest worry is like a learning voice or something like that on the Alamola or um, Mega Sceptile um, like special Mega Sceptile so I need to play around that keep, uh, keep a good eye like a good eye have a good idea what's going to happen with that I also could see Terra Victini being um, grass this game to help with Palafin um it could make sense but i also like feel like it the uh fire just is so scary against my team um that's just something i need to keep in mind at least for this matchup but yeah um i'm feeling pretty good about this game um there's just like different aspects of flaps team that could be really scary um that i'm a little bit worried about but it is what it is that's hopefully uh we could pull out the stub week one that would be really clutch um especially since this guy actually knocked me out of the tournament um he's a really good player he made a lot of good predictions like he oh played me a lot in the tournament game and outproved me to be honest too so i'm gonna have to i feel like i might, might have to be a little bit more aggressive this game see how it goes um but yeah uh i'll catch you in the match okay we are back here uh very interesting. Let me link the battle. So they brought Torrenty, Victini, Terra Grass, which I kind of expected, but at the same time, not really. I'm just gonna leave Palafin. Um, Mel Metal, uh, Mel Metal Crook. They brought the Crook. Interesting. Uh, Aloe and Mega Septile. 
I'm going to go hard into Annihilate, I think, on this, probably, is the best play. Yeah, let's see what he want to go for. That's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. I kind of want to get my rocks up here. They go for a Toxic, interesting. So, Toxic set. I'm going to get my rocks up here, I think. And... I think I U-turn out. Even if they're a rocky helmet, I think I'm in still in another bad position. Could also go Shaman here hard. But I kind of want to get the Mega off. And first, but... Huh. They're definitely flip-turning here, though. No, I'll U-turn. They're a rocky helmet. Okay. Interesting, Rocky. So I'm just curious. Alamola. Eight to nine percent. So they're fizz def. I'm going to make it first. See if I get a a static maybe. Clutch. Clutch. Yep. Nice. Um, they probably go out to crook here, which I go out to shaman, and I think I have a tom pass out. You like the crook? Are they intimidate? They are not. Interesting. Oh, probably because they want to, don't want to proc defiant. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight out to shaman. They get their own rocks, and I'm gonna baton pass out, expecting the torn to come in. Rocks out. They also are rocks. And I'm going to fire off a dragon pulse. I'm gonna mega and fire off a dragon pulse. Here. They go into Victini. Let's see how much this takes. I'm curious. 43%? Nice. Forty-three percent. So they're max HP probably. I'm kinda of want this gone, to be honest. Let's go to Dragon Pulse again. And I'm gonna heal bell. I'll switch out. I'm gonna heal bell. Yeah, I'm gonna heal bell. Nice. Fantastic. Okay. I get to go right back into Shaman. So they're toxic. They're like max HP. 26%. I think I just baton pass out again. They're heavy duty boots. I actually. Oh, that looks really good. If I could get, I just need to be careful with the mega sub tower now. Hmm. Back to Daddy Crypto. Yeah. I think Dragon Pulse is pretty free here. Let's go to fire it off. A U turn. Dragon Pulse is pretty free. And if they go to Mad Metal, that's fine. Um, can I get any information about this? I think I might pivot um, Annihilate next time. Maybe? Return did 9%. Fantastic, Mega Air First got a kill. Crook is down. Mega Set Dial comes in. I immediately go into Scream Tail here. Um, we're looking in a really good position, actually, at this point. What do they go for? Earthquake. I'm just going to fire off a Wish here. I get to go back into Mega Ampharos, I think. They're physical Sept. I'm just curious. Earthquake did how much? 21%. 
21%, 21.7%. They're adamant. Okay. So they're adamant earthquake. I kind of want to protect to see what they want to go for. Yeah, I want to keep this healthy. Let's go wish again. They go for wish too. I'm going to fire off an ice... Gonna be kind of annoying because they get to get into I'm gonna go right into my game first here. Sorry about this. They probably flip turned out, which that kind of sucks on that para. I'm gonna be honest, because they probably would have gotten Victini back up to good health. I'm just gonna dragon pulse here. And I kinda wanna Do I volt switch out or discharge? Dragon Pulse did how much? 20%? It's about bulky-ish set. Do I have to be this? Maybe. I'm gonna discharge here, I think. Actually, this is super important. I don't need Annihilate, I feel like, this game. Yeah, I'm gonna Annihilate. Go for an Earthquake. Earthquake, only 6%. I'm going to... Went to Earthquake, so not off. They have some investment, maybe? Um, Actually, I want to see it, because Mega Ampharos did how much? Discharge did how much? 20... A Dragon Pulse did 20%? There may be their Assault Vest. They might be Assault Vest. No. Huh. Maybe? Like that? Maybe. Um... Either way, I think I go out... I think I Dream Punch here. And I think I still U turn out. Even though I'm getting low, they wish here, probably. And I'm just gonna Dragon Pulse again. Stack off an alley. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> Do I go Palf in here? I think I do. Yeah. I'll bulk up here. Are they toxic? They are Thunder Wave, which is kind of annoying. But I get a free Drain Punch off here. T Wave, interesting. So EQ, T Wave. Kind of want to go uh, to make an Ampharos here. Yeah. They flip turn. Nice play. My model never kills me from here. Maybe it's worth to get off. Oh, it can actually. Yeah, I'm going to see him in here. I set this is up. They're per punching gloves. Okay. Uh, 
I'm just gonna Earth Hell, I guess. In this slowish. Um. I'm gonna go for another Earth Power. Because if they. I'm, gonna, I'm okay with sacking off Torn here. I'm gonna Baton Pass out. Because that gets me into Mega Amphros. Uh, that's me Heal Bell. Which means that. Um, Mel Metal should be taken care of, I think. With Palafin, looks really. Ugh. That. Hmm. So it's it's probably like punching glove. No, please don't. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to fire off a dragon pulse or discharge. If they go into Sceptile, well played. They sack off Victini. Fantastic. I go straight into Screamtail. I'm not letting this do anything here. Leaf Storm. Awesome. I get the Wish here. I'm going to protect. Keep this thing healthy, I think. I'm just gonna wish again. I think. Boulder or Palfin can win this game. I just need to figure out how to get the setup on off on like say like Aloe probably. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna go hard. He is a lowering voice. Okay. That's fine. They are a lowering voice as I kinda expected. Okay. I'm going to sub, but substitute anyway. It shouldn't do too much, and I get to, I could just Dream Punch it down. And... Like, they could keep a uh, clicking that. I'm in, like, not a bad position here. I think I dream punch one more time here. And if, yeah, okay, so they go out into what? Here, tornadoes. Woke up here. I think I Drain Punch, actually. Oh my god, they're toxic. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna Drain Punch again. This game very well. I don't know what the end game... I got... The Iron Bolt is probably going to have to be my end game at this point because of Mega Stuff Tile. Three. Dream Punch anyway here. And... 
and I get another Drain Punch off here. I'm just going to keep clicking and Drain Punch here at this point. That is fine with me here. Okay, that went down. So I'm going to go with the Scream Tail, I think. Protect Disable kind of shenanigans. Is that the way to go? Or do I wish? I could have possibly thrown this game a little bit too, to be honest. What did the double iron bash do earlier? <sighs> 20, 30. 56%. Okay. They could be max attack. Uh, I don't know if there's an way to win this game. At least. I'll protect to see what they want to go for. Double Iron Bash. I'm going to disable. I uh, wish here. And I'm just going to Ice Beam. I get the ice cream off, does 20%. I could wish up again. Does Iron Boulder Ornatus? It does break sub. Hmm. Huh. Water. Oh man, he made the right play. Okay. I wish here in case the gate breaks through. It's awkward. <laughs> Wait, this has happened. Oh man. What are the chances? Why? Oh my god. What the heck is happening? <laughs> okay. I think I disabled the Thunder Wave. I got an SD here. Do we live? For real. Um, this might end the game. That might be game, but I, dude, I can't believe that's so, that's so ass. Just to make sure though. Ready, cleave. Oh my God. There's no, there's no way the set of turns happened. <laughs> I don't even know uh, what to say right now. <laughs> GG. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what was the... Dude, how many turns did we just not be able to do anything? That's crazy. 
What? Um, I uh, I don't even know what to say. Um, what a what a weird game. Um, Iron Boulder cleaning in the clean, cleaning up the end game. Um, I played the Palfin really badly though, but also Flappington played really well around it. Um, yeah, so uh, we end up pulling out week one. I out of our ass because honestly we did not uh, <laughs> that mid to end game we were not playing too hot with it, but. Yeah, uh, we win week one. We get revenge on Flap, who knocked me knocked me out of the, the tournament. Um, hope, but yeah, what an interesting game that was with the Ice Beam. That's prime Pokemon content right there. Ice Beam, the Ice Beam, Freeze, and Para for like no moving for six turns. Prime, prime Pokemon content. But yeah, um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, Bash. Out.